I know it's hard to see, but it's probably best that it is because that is a New York City Housing Authority meeting. Um, there was just last week when the neighborhood administrator for the Bronx, he shared more than just information about what's going on in the Bronx when he shared his entire self, let's say, uh, on that Zoom call. We've seen things like this before. Jeffrey Tubin, the first thing that comes to mind when uh, at CNN, when he got in issues with this as the pandemic started. But this particular instance with this housing authority uh, administrator has some other twist to it. So what happened in that video? Well, it was supposed to be just another routine uh, weekly video conference for this whole housing authority in New York as uh, to update managers on how things were going in public housing developments across the five boroughs. And one of these participants, who's a Bronx neighborhood administrator, his name was Alex Tolozano. He appeared in, on his Microsoft Teams window naked and next to a woman. On Friday, the response to uh, the city who wrote this inquiry, the New York uh, uh, city housing authority officials described the incident like this. During the meeting, participants observed uh, Tolozano's phone camera was on screen for at least two minutes, revealing what uh, he was potentially engaged in inappropriate activity with another individual. Tolozano is responsible for overseeing management of several uh, NYCHA developments in the Bronx. And he's supposed to be participating in the regularly scheduled call as part of his responsibilities. And as a city employee, last year he made $129,000. So he's got a pretty important position it seems. Also by the end of Wednesday, NYCHA had suspended him without pay for 30 days while it looks into firing him. NYCHA took swift disciplinary action following this incident by immediately suspending the employee, initiating an investigation and beginning the administrative process for dismissal. And that's what Barbara Bra uh, Brancaccio, who's the chief communications officer, uh, officer did say. How many times can this happen? Actually, this was <laughs> very purposeful. He was like, I don't care, take my salary back, fire me. I'm not sure what the thought process was here. Look, I just sort of wonder, maybe we're looking at this the wrong way. I mean, um, first of all, yes, if you're gonna be on Zoom, make sure you know how to operate Zoom, make sure you know how to sort of keep things. But I, I sort of wonder, you know, the bigger question in my mind was, you know, was Mr. Talizano, I don't know, using the appropriate um, measures to keep his partner safe, uh, to keep from an unwanted pregnancy? Was he respecting her in the midst of how they had this sort of affair or whatever they were sort of doing? Because that would speak more about his sort of character and ethics than whether he accidentally put himself on Zoom. And maybe that's TMI, too much information. We don't need to know this, <laughs> Mr. Talisano. But I mean, if we're going there, you know, I would. That's how I would sort of judge him. I suppose um, I would say this guy's an idiot for putting on his Zoom and not sort of knowing how it operates. And if you're gonna have sex with your partner while you're on a Zoom call, God bless you. But make sure you know how to operate the Zoom. Yeah, I mean, is it kind of boring? You need a new wrinkle to your activities. Like, hey, let's kind of have it off to the side and see if they notice. Or maybe his partner was like, "This is fun," because it seemed like <laughs> it started on someone else. Then it went to him. Maybe he's like, "What are you doing?" Who knows? We've all been in meetings that have been really boring. And we've all been in meetings where we think, God, you know, our mind sort of wanders and I wish there was something else we could be doing. And I suppose, you know, New York Housing Authority meetings could be really dry. There's other things um, you could be doing. So, yeah, okay. He was trying to spice it up and he was trying to multitask, I guess. Well, he's not mm -hmm. such a great multitasker. Well, by the way, so this isn't good news for the uh, New York City Housing Authority because they've had other issues that have nothing to do with uh, illicit sexual affairs on camera. Other things that they've had to deal with as well are this. The authority is the city's biggest landlord with 400,000 tenants in 175,000 apartments across the boroughs. After years of press reports about mismanagement and squalid living conditions endured by public housing tenants, federal prosecutors launched an investigation that found agency managers had routinely lied about performing required lead paint inspections and covered up mold infestations, rat infestations, and pervasive elevator breakdowns. Gee. Thus, in January, NYCHA officials revealed to the city that they had fired 18 lower level trade staff after uncovering evidence that they had been regularly putting in for overtime for hours that they weren't actually working. That investigation is ongoing and has broadened to include supervisors. And that's the whole organization itself. How about Tolazano? It's not the first time he's gotten into any issues. Over the years of his career, Tolozano has been brought, in, brought up on disciplinary proceedings over work performance issues three times prior to this explicit video conference, is what they did say. Twice in 1995 
And then in 2015, he was temporarily suspended. And after 2014 hearing, he was reprimanded. Then he was promoted. Then he got this other position. Then he put his ass on camera. <laughs> All right, JR, you've convinced me. I take back my comments about whether he was wearing a condom. The guy's bad news, he should be fired. I think we're going to that point. But luckily the video was blurry and we couldn't really see completely what's happening there.